we've got some more new additions uh, to the collection. Um, kind of got these. I should have probably had these for longer than I got these before now. Um, but it's about to move on. Right, so first up, you got this. And in here should be. So we can get it open. Two seconds, we'll just get something to fit this into. This will do. But in here, if you can see them, I don't know how well you're going to see these because these things are tiny. But um, see the little things that look like seeds? They are eggs. Um, and these are stick insect eggs. Um, I'm not going to need a species just yet. Uh, but they're uh, a very common species um, and these eggs are super tiny I'd have to get them all sorted out um, get the way ready to hatch uh, so these usually take about three to four months to hatch and they were laid in June so probably a couple more months to go and then these guys should be out right let's move on to the main issue so in here get this out of the way we have our new edition so some of you may have already guessed what species this is, but these are, let's get them carefully, Indian stick insects, um, these are nymphs, looks like they've uh, travelled quite well, so, they are, so there should be um, at least 15 in here, so there's plenty and then obviously a load of eggs to do as well, but these are the guys there. Um, so, yeah, probably one of the most common in stick insects. A lot of people keep these uh, as school projects and stuff. Quite like the uh, the nymphs; they are pretty active. They run around a lot. Super tiny one. Um, these two grow quite big. They can get up to like um, a good size when they're adults. Um, and they are parthenogenic, so they are all females. These are all girls. So what we do is um, we'll make a cut and then we'll get these guys rehoused. All right, then, let's get on the rehousing. Um, so I'm using my um, small uh, knitted uh, enclosure for these guys because they are super tiny at the moment still. Super teeny tiny. And uh, it's got them some uh, bramble leaves. I see they've been cut from the other. It's a bit dry, obviously, with the heat we've been having. Um, so I've washed them off. Always put your uh, plants in the pot of water. It makes them last so much longer. And let's start transferring these guys across. And hopefully we won't get too many of them running all over the place. So just try and give him a little touch, see if he wants to move off. Come on, Come on little guy. Little girl, sorry. Come on. Do you want to get on the leaf? Sort of. Go on. Oh, see delicate with finger size. There's one. Yeah. <laughs> this is already here. Uh, starting to run around a bit. Just a bit so you guys can see better. There we go. So we can get this one onto walk onto a leaf. Oh. Come on, go on the leaf. Can okay, we walk on my hand then? No? Can you go on the leaf? Come on. One does not want to come off. This is going to be interesting. Come on. There we go. So you just lost some off there. Oh, there. Oh. Got stuck on the bottom there. Okay, so we can get you off there. What I might do is just put the leaves actually on there and see if the guys will come out that way. There's some uh, big guys there. Loads of them! So this will be the start of my Indian stick insect colony. Um, I can't remember the um, Latin name. But I will look that up and obviously get that put on, uh, put 
Come on, little guy. Come on, you go. Come on. Go on. Go. Doing a typical stick and stick thing. Uh, No, I think what we'll do is we will put this in the cage and they should move out on their own accord rather than uh, stressing them out because they are only tiny, I don't want to damage any so we'll just put that like that and uh, yeah, so they're already starting to move around quite a bit they'll come up here now oh there's the two on there, see this will go, come on come on, look on there, that's it, that's it there we go and there's one more on there, so we can get this guy to walk down. Come on. Come on. Sometimes there's a little bit of persuasion. There we go. That's that leaf done. Cool. Um, so, I'm sure they'll move off this leaf soon enough. So, there we have it, guys. Our new colony of Indian stick insects. Um, I also have a uh, another species coming later, uh, sometime this week, hopefully. Um, help um, fill out my species. They look very similar to this, but they are slightly different. So I'm just going to get these into the enclosure now. If you guys can see, okay. Yep. Yep. There we go. So let's move you guys around so you can get a better look. Mess it up. Um, so this is um, 30 by 30 by 30 um, cube-ish. These uh, venting cages are really, really good for things like sick insects and um, butterflies and stuff like that. I have various sizes. Um, the one you can just see here is the big one that's got the rest of the sick insects in it. Um, so we'll have a, look, a better look at them, uh, the other guys, later in the week. So that's that then, guys. Um, I uh, hope you enjoyed that one and I'll see you in the next.